So basically when I arrived and I'd gone into the yard, I'd noticed that there's something going on in the group. You know, a massive big fuss. And it just builds from there. Give us a shout when you know what's happening. There's no sign of Zizi or her two-week-old baby. Screaming and shouting. Obviously, you want to make sure that you've seen the baby. Hearing that noise, you automatically fear the worst. Then some of them all trooped into the yard. Patty has stolen the baby. Patty has never had her own baby, and now she's taken Zizi's, she's not about to give her up. There's a little bit of a holding of breath. Is this going to be it? Are, are we OK here or not? Mum Zizi can do nothing but stay close. Zizi's following Patty around. Tina's following her around as well. And it's not long before one of the group's males muscles in. Carlos is jumping up and down and running around and he's very upset. But a rescue attempt by Carlos could backfire. He is a big lad. He could end up with a big fight. The baby could get severely hurt or killed. Zizi's obviously concerned, but not trying to take the baby back. She's staying very close. I think basically she doesn't want to rock the boat. If you rock the boat, you'll sink. Zizi and Carlos aren't letting Patty and the baby out of their sight. Stevie was only two weeks old at this point, and Patty is a non-related female, so unusual set of circumstances. If she tries to suckle, obviously Patty hasn't got any milk, so she'll start whimpering and crying, which will raise the tension in the group. Zizi and Carlos will get very upset. It could end up that the group physically take Stevie away from Patty. He could end up with a tug of war and be literally pulled apart. The keepers daren't intervene. We don't go in with the chimps. Um, you'd come out in little pieces if you did. There's virtually nothing we could do. There's no way you could actually physically go in. You probably wouldn't even get the padlock undone. We're just keeping our fingers crossed that uh, the group behave themselves. But we don't know how it's going to pan out. It could go totally pear shaped. On Chimp Island, Patty has taken Zizi's newborn baby, Stevie. She's been carrying her round for over an hour. There's virtually nothing you can do if anything is going wrong. So you've just got to put your trust in the chimps that they know what to do. And just put your faith in the gods. Finally, Patty disappears inside the house, with Carlos, Zizi and Tina following closely behind. When they started screaming, it was obviously something unusual was happening. Uh, there was distress. And then Zizi came out again, carrying Stevie. Patty had her just over an hour. 
Patty seems calm and happy. Zizi seems calm and happy. Tina's calmed down now. And Carlos has stopped jumping up and down. He's happy as well. So at the moment, everyone's happy. Zizi's baby is out of danger. And it looks like there are no hard feelings. We started checking the cameras to see if we could find out what exactly had happened. Uh, one of the cameras did pick it up. I've never seen an occasion like that before, you know, in 40 odd years. Patty's just here, and this is Sally, and then you see Zizi moving up with the baby. And then if you look really closely in this area, you just see her gently touch her on the arm. And then she gently lifts babies and see the little legs. And just, it's, it's very much a, here, do you, want a, do you want a little hold? And Patty takes her. Zizi just basically said, do you want to carry me baby? It's just amazing to say. You wouldn't think she'd pass it to somebody who wasn't related. Normally, the first ones who'll carry the baby after the mother will be a close blood relative. At two weeks old, to an unrelated female, I've never heard of that before. Keepers are hoping Zizi's trusting behaviour will help bring the group together.